Hello guys, I am Gavin Lewis and I'm going to show you some pieces from my closet. So without any further ado, let's get this going. So recently, I've been into the 70s a lot lately, so I got some pieces to show you guys. I've been wearing a lot of jumpsuits lately, like these vintage dicking jumpsuit I like the blue on it and yeah I wore this the first day of class the other day and I felt pretty confident I also have this vintage Colorado jumpsuit which I found thrifting at Buffalo Exchange so I'm gonna wear this soon see the Colorado on there yeah, one of my faves. And also, I wear these shoes with the blue Dickies jumpsuit. The blue on the stripe really goes with the whole whole shoe and the whole vibe. I know I look like a like a janitor or something, but I feel like the shoes add to a personal style that I'm trying to go for. Oh, also, I've been a big overall guy lately. I have these that I found at Buffalo Exchange as well. They're about 15 bucks and they fit me like a glove, so I'll probably wear these on campus one of these days. And shoe wise, I'll show you guys the shoes that I normally wear. I'm a big Air Max 1 fan. I have the red pair that I've been wearing forever for two years and the green pair that I got a year ago that I've been beating out, beating the crap out of because I wear them all the time. I also got the orange Air Max 1s and these go for a shit a lot nowadays but I got them when they just dropped so I spent around two hundred dollars for these, but I think they're worth it because I wear Air Max ones all the time, and that's all I wear. I also wear just these all white Air Max nineties when I just want to. I don't have shoes that go with anything. I just throw these on, and they fit it perfectly. And I've been a lot, wearing a lot of polo sport lately. I don't know why. I just like the color. I like the spell out. I also have this one. And I know they're kind of played out by now, but I do like the big NASCAR tee. I don't know. It's really loud, and it, you stand out in it, which I like. Nature tees also are a big thing that I'm going for right now. this one the Dallas one this is so sick and I wear this with my um, green Air Max ones and I just love the way it goes together and the pieces that I'm proud of are the jumpsuits because I feel like that's a very original piece and I don't see a lot of people around wearing them especially at the U of A but I feel like in a couple months they might be big since it's about to be fall and I might bust, bust them out again and the most recent item is the overalls that I acquired. And also I'm a big fan of this brand. Not all their shirts, but like this shirt in particular. Big Dogs, I don't know, I like the all over. I like, I love a good all over print tee. And it's also a good gym tee or a good just wear out tee because of the, the stressing on the neck. And one more thing, I, I love like a good, old school hat. Looks good with the mullet, goes with the stash, and yeah, that's my closet. Um, this is the interview portion of the question. This is the interview questions of the video, so to find and explain what you think your signature style is. I think my signature style is, um, I think it changes, but it's play as played out as it, as it is, say, as vintage or like, old old school and also I've been looking at like 
smaller Instagrams, clothing items, and I think those are cool. Like, I'm not, I used to be just vintage, but now I'm trying to branch out to like cool, like brands that are unknown or either, even brands that are big. If it's, as long as I like the item, like, I'll wear it. And um, my biggest influences on my personal style, I would say I watched this show called Round Two a lot, or some of you guys might know Paul Cantu when I was in high school, and I thought their style was cool, so I um, tried to develop more of their style, and then I think it branched me into having my own style, and I'm grateful that I uh, watched their videos because it inspired me to, you know, stand out or make my own style or make my presence known with my clothes. Uh, I could see my style evolving or changing. It, it depends because sometimes I have those moments where I don't ever know what to wear and it goes on for like a couple months. Like right now, I, I'm like, I don't know what to wear. Um, so I just throw something on sometimes or I'll pick an outfit out, but I'm kind of in the an odd stage right now of picking um, a style that I like. How has your lifestyle impacted your personal style? For jobs, um, I know for the past two jobs I've had to have like a work uniform, wear a polo with my name on it or something, and khaki shorts, which I don't mind um, having a, a work uniform. Um, who would be your style icons? Hmm. I would say, I don't know if I have a style icon, but looking at like um, movies based on the 70s, like Days Confused or Boogie Nights, I really like, I like their styles a lot. Just recently I've been on, the, like I said in the past video, 70s styles, like the overalls, the jumpsuits, the Nike Cortezes, the hair, just more than even um, clothes, the music. Um, one person I would love the style, one person I'd love to style would be, um, ah, that's a good question. Maybe like, maybe Harry Styles, he seems like a cool guy, uh, I like his tattoos. And maybe I can uh, model with him and my uh, influencer, career, influencer career could take off, who knows. And this new album ain't bad. Um, favorite brand? I don't know if I have a favorite brand, but I like a bunch of like polo sport or I like wearing dickies like the pants and I like looking at more obscure like clothing companies that haven't been in style for a while like South Pole or yeah South Pole recently. I think they have a lot of cool things you just got to look around any I think any brand has cool items you just got to look around for them. And let's see, how do you see yourself implementing trends and future goals? I don't know if I follow trends that much. I kind of just go with what I like, but I like like going around campus and seeing the students, seeing what they wear and what trends are going on with them. Because in the future, I would look, like to have a career as a buyer or something along those lines. So it's cool to see what like the kiddos are wearing nowadays or what's on sale at... Um, Urban Outfitters, and I like Urban Outfitters too. Like I said, I don't like just vintage. I like the newer stuff, the older stuff, the older, older stuff. Participating in this course, I feel like it's cool that we have to make a reel for Instagram because I've always wanted to do that, but this gives me a, uh, it, it's, this uh, is forcing me to do it. So I think I just needed somebody to tell me to do it. And this is a good opportunity to take that, uh, take that up. And yeah, that's all.